Yar har fiddly dee on the pirate ship. <laughs> Call me a link mail, because living in New York City is really fucking depressing. Me and my best buddy Queequeg are going out to kill a whale with some douchebag named Ahab. And that's all you need to know about Moby Dick. <laughs> I thought we were playing Wind Waker, not Phantom Pain. That's the one book Ted was forced to read in college. Um, no, I had to read that last, last semester, and... Reading Moby Dick is about as fun as it sounds, and I'll just leave Yeah, that. okay, um, my, my grandmother got me this, uh, Easton Press, like, really expensive leather book with gold trimming, uh, collection. Uh, no, it was, it was supposed to be a hundred books, but she couldn't afford to keep going for more than seven. Uh, the first one was Moby Dick. So I've got this really magnificent hardcover copy of the book. I, and because it was such a nice copy, I wanted to read it, like, just... You know, because it seems like such um, a waste to have a book that expensive and not read it. But I could not get through more than a third of that book without my brain disengaging. I remember in 11th grade, uh, one of the projects was that we can read any sort of like novel that we chose and just write a book report on it, basically. Uh, and everyone at that time was reading like Harry Potter and all that shit. I read Hannibal. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to stick out from the crowd. Like, and then yeah, he yes. makes him eat his own brain. <laughs> it was the best book I ever read. <laughs> hey, Johnny. It was, hey, good job. Are the book? I... It was. A, it was in the novelization of the movie Caddyshack. <laughs> 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 Wait, I didn't know that the the Hannibal movies were a book. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, they were, yeah, they were a book dude. series. Oh, are they good? Because I actually have not watched Sounds of the Lambs or any of the other movies. I would that. say I the Hannibal know. book is better than the movie. I would, although, much, I would, although Johnny, I though I would actually, I think the the ending of the Hannibal book angered a lot of people. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, is it like is is it like a Stephen King movie adaptation where the ending is completely different than the book? <laughs> kind, kind of. Well, the the, the the kind of. It's just that they they. I don't want to spoil it, but they do something with Clarice, which a lot of people didn't like, and so they they did not do it in the movie version. Oh, fair enough. Bye. Well, yeah, no, the 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 uh, the Hannibal uh, stuff's great. Oh, I, I'm, great character, great I'm character. surprised you put the name in as my boy in lowercase letters, but they actually capitalize it to capital M, my boy, if it's the first uh, word in a sentence. I'm surprised they have that grammatical check in the game's code. <laughs> uh, this game uses Grammarly, <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's it's just most, most of the time when they do this kind of stuff, it's just like there's an empty spot for a character's name. I didn't know that they even checked for that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like um, I'm pretty sure this is a basic RPG maker thing, but like it, there's a there's a code word for each for each changeable name, and it's something like in brackets, char name, and whenever that's detected in a text, it'll insert whatever name you changed to. Yeah. Right. Just don't just don't call it lowercase amiibo because then when it gets to an uppercase A, people get mad. <laughs> that's not how you spell amiibo, damn it! Also, Gareth, you have to remember that the plural for amiibo is amiibo. If you call them amiibos, you're a scrub and everybody hates you. <laughs> <laughs> what about amiibai? <laughs> amiibai. Sounds like a parasite. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go home and relax with all my amiibis. <laughs> Let's go, boys. I'm gonna go catch all the Pokemans. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemans. Hola, amiibo. Okay, so our first dungeon of the game is going to be a horrible stealth sequence. Yep. Ba -da 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 -da. I'm not going to lie, I don't really like this section, and its emphasis on stealth is more a... It's more a point of story than anything, because I don't think you really use these mechanics at all after this. Not really, no. Not really, no. I like that little wink. Somehow like, she got why him. Why are you only freaking out at this point in this? You, you would have had to get into the barrel. <laughs> because he went, he went brain dead for like a good five minutes. He spaced out. You kind of conked out there for a while. <laughs> good thing you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Link, have you ever played Donkey Kong? This is going to be not like that at all, except for the fact that you're in a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> bon voyage. <laughs> All right. and, and you know what? This this kind of comedy would not work in the other in, in the other Zelda art styles. Not even the <laughs> not even the like. I'm just imagining Twilight Princess Link now being thrown over <laughs> in a barrel yeah, and if, smacked if, if, into a mountain. If Twilight Princess <laughs> Link is going through this sort of shenanigans, it's a fucking G mod video. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, by the way, get used to that sight of Link's getting smacked into the things. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, hero man. of Plank. Yeah. I love this version of Link yeah. so much. <laughs> I say this is... Uh, I'm concussed. <laughs> <laughs> this is the... This is, you know what? It's one thing to have low points in a game. To Wind Waker's credit, at least, it's early. <laughs> so... Well. Well, yeah, and, you know, it's it's just that it feels kind of like a tutorial for something that you never have to use. Exactly, so. yeah, exactly. It'd be, it'd, it'd be a thing if, like, stealth was something that occasionally comes back, but it really, it not, not ever to this extent again. No, you I have a sword. Need this. <laughs> that, when yeah. did Wind Waker come out again? 2003? 2002. 2002. 2002. Okay, 2003. so this was no, kind of the tail end of when every game needed to have a terrible stealth sequence, and to be, <laughs> to be fair, Ocarina of Time had one of those too, but it's just, I don't get why, every, like, Metal Gear Solid came out, and everybody just realized, oh man, every game needs to have an awful stealth sequence because Metal Gear is popular, I guess? I, I have Dirge no of Cerberus, Solid Sith, Rest in Spaghetti, Never Forgetty. Um, Which Revengeance would shamelessly <laughs> copy, for the record. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, this barrel just keeps on moving five feet to the left and right every couple of seconds. What was that? Nothing here but us barrels. As long as we don't actually see the barrel move, boys, it's okay. <laughs> okay, what was that weird cloud of dust around it just a second ago? Ah, it's probably nothing. <laughs> I gotta tell you, these winds are really strong. He's pushing that barrel on the floor over there. Yeah, but it, it, it's standing upright, Captain. Like, look, it's it's not even rolling around. It's just moving. <laughs> a sort of cloud of uh, cloud of dust or smoke effects that pop up in this game are one of my favorite visual elements of it because it reminds mm. me so much of like um, Disney's Hercules. Uh, Hercules and Mulan, I think. Yeah, Mulan. Mulan yeah. It, to me, it, it really looks like the kind of like um, I forget the technical term, but like the, the way that the, the, yeah, yeah, like Chinese calligraphy, like the the yeah. smoke looks just like that. It looks beautiful. Yeah, Calligra kind yeah. kind of calligraphy, but not 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 necessarily. I wouldn't say Wind Waker has any kind of. It Wind Waker doesn't really have a culturally specific art style to it. Which is part mm. of what makes it stick out. It, it, it has its own style. Yeah, I would say, e even though this game's cartoony, I would say that the, the more traditional Zelda art style is more anime than this, I would guess. Yeah. Well, not necessarily, because uh, the um, the promotional art for the older games, the uh, 2D uh, games, sorry, that was, was more... That, that, was my, that was my bad. I meant for, like, Ocarina of Time on. Like yeah, uh, Oca Ocarina of Time Onward has a slightly anime tinge to it. Um, but, you know, it, more so Twilight Princess and Beyond, because um, uh, the art style that they used in o Ocarina of Time uh, and, and Majora's Mask, even in the uh, 3DS versions, is more, I, I want to say, it's closer to a Western cartoon than an anime. Twilight Princess is clearly Tolkien. Twilight Princess is trying to be Tolkien, but has yeah. that sort of it has that sort of elf fantasy anime elongated ears and eyes kind of thing going for it, uh, the sort of thing that you see in like fairy dance and sort of sort of online and that kind of thing. Um, that's that's kind of a uniquely anime thing about elves is that they have really long ears, and like the only thing from the West that I can think of doing that is um is uh, Jack and Daxter. Okay, so what are they... Pu are, are, are treasure chests like refrigerators and that they just have lights in them for some reason? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can see what's in there. Hello, light. Yeah, that hurts radiation. Oh, it, oh, it, it's Marcel Wallace's briefcase. That was that was a Pulp Fiction reference. <laughs> if no one got that. I don't think anyone got that. No one has seen Pulp Fiction. I hate this creep. Bye. No, haven't seen it. Sorry. What, the, what, what was the combination to open the treasure? Was it 666? Because, oh, yes, it, it, Satan. It, I'm it going to actually say Johnny, something yes. even more <laughs> horrifying now. I've never seen Blues Brothers. Oh, I haven't seen Blues Brothers either. You're all dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I actually did uh, get myself a copy of Blues Brothers after watching the Nostalgia Critics Blues Brothers 2000 review. Because I really want to... It looks like okay. something I would like. <laughs> I like that connection. I watched the review for a shitty movie, so I bought the prequel. Okay. Well, it, it's because the uh, uh, the review had a lot of clips of the original uh, when it when it wanted to compare or just use a funny clip from the original because why not? 
so I got to see just enough of the original that I, I was like, okay, I think this is something I, I'll enjoy. Illinois the, the, Nazis. The original, is the original is great. <laughs> okay, so now this is something I really like about the the both uh, Wii U Zelda ports that unfortunately is going to be completely lost on everybody watching. You can make it so that the map is on the is on the gamepad, which I personally really enjoy because it doesn't do clutter, clutter up the screen. Unfortunately for the viewers, that means if you're not a, affiliated with the game at all, you have no idea where everybody's supposed to be. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good luck trying to keep track of this or use it as a guide or whatever. I'll, although, to be honest, I don't necessarily s I, I don't necessarily see as much usefulness from having a map on a on a secondary screen on the Wii U specifically. Uh, not the 3DS because the 3DS is two smaller screens and you can have one in your peripheral vision pretty easily. But um, it, it's a little harder to keep track of a uh, of a gamepad screen map than it is to. Um, than it is to take to keep track of either a mini map in the corner of your screen or the 3DS's secondary screen. Well, the map in Zelda isn't something I'm looking at all the time anyway. Yeah, so I know it's, it's just more that when I when I look at the map on the gamepad, I wind up stopping to look at it anyway. So I might as well be pausing. Uh, I think it I, that might be a player by player basis because I can glance at it while playing at the same time and not have to pause. Especially if it's something for a map. Okay, this, this might be somewhat slightly unique to me because I tend to play pretty close to my television, which is why I'm nearsighted. <laughs> I'm going to admit that right now. But um, I, I, I play pretty close to a television that, that's large enough to dominate my basically my entire field of view. So I need to physically hold up my gamepad or look down at it to see it. I just can't read. <laughs> that explains so much how I got this far in life is a miracle that's why I like playing Sonic games there's no reading or intelligence needed <laughs> just run fast and jump well at least until you get to the DS and 3DS eras then there's plenty of reading we don't talk about those games Lewis <laughs> Sonic Rush is fantastic screw you it is. It's a great game. Oh, oh, you actually like it. Okay, good. That... I love Sonic Rush. Okay, good. Uh, now we don't have to argue about something right now. The Sonic Rush games are good, just a different kind of good. Um... I'm surprised Ted likes and Ted, you normally hate things all to do with Sonic except for SA2 because you freak. Um, uh, here's the thing. Sonic... Uh, well, I love Sonic Rush just because it's a fun game, granted. But Sonic Rush was also... Here's the, the weird thing about the DS and the 3DS is despite them being basically the only viable handheld systems during their during their uh, runs they had they both had really slow starts and like Sonic Rush was one of the only really good DS games until like 2006 <laughs> I honestly thought your reasoning was because the DS had slow start but Sonic was fast <laughs> <laughs> so since we're talking about Sonic and the DS don't get the Sonic 2 3DS port because it is pretty damn bad like I was playing Chemical Plant Zone the other day and Sonic like straight up went through a, a loop and into a wall and it's <laughs> Yeah, the collision detection's awful. Oh, one of, doc one of Dr. Eggman's diabolical, diabolical traps. traps. No, that's <laughs> only in Sonic 3, Ryan, no. Yeah, Sonic 2 doesn't have diabolical traps. He's got a stick! <laughs> you idiots, we have all have sticks. <laughs> we all have sticks. <laughs> if you're playing yeah. Sonic 2 in any kind of portable form, it should definitely be the Christian Whitehead rebuild anyway, so, oh, yeah. Ew, no. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not using a goddamn touchscreen for my D-pad, okay? <laughs> It, I, I really hate I really hate to say this, but I have to agree with Ted. No, no, no. Get a controller for your phone. I, I'm not buying a controller. I ain't made of money, Lewis. What do you think I am, it's Johnny? It's not that expensive. In well, fact, it's gonna cheaper than my, an actual controller. What am I going to put my phone on while I play the game with the controller, though? Like, no, there's like a, there's like a there's there are controller brace things that that have a game that have a gamepad interface, but they 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 also hold your phone in them. It attaches to your phone. Like it, a yeah. It's why kind of I like bring, why I just bring a TV and attach it to an old school Mega Drive. Fuck it, I'm going, I'm going that. I may as well just go the whole hog. <laughs> bring it all with me. I don't care anymore. Yeah, I just screw and get a Nomad. <laughs> oh God, the Nomad. A Nomad and about fifty AA batteries to get to the final boss. Okay. Fifty, you're being generous. To get to the end of Emerald Hill, maybe. And there are actually uh, modern portable Genesis things. They're a little. Uh, they're, the emulation is a little patchy at times, but they're they're, they're an option. They're not a good option, but yes, they are, in fact, an option. <laughs> well, they're a semi-decent option, but then everyone knows the best way to emulate is to just get a PSP jailbreaker thing and dump everything on it. That sounded dirty. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Talk more, Lewis. Talk more. I, I don't get it. Yeah. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>